sun. I haven't really been paying attention to my solar wax melter, and I've showed it to you guys before that you know that little small chest freezer. It's still not perfect by any means, but it has been good and hot the last few weeks, and I've you know tossed wax in it every now and then when I walked by. Um, but <clears throat> of course, a lot of times I still forget my wax sits in buckets and then gets all maggoted out, and I end up throwing it away. I'm pissed off. But I've been trying to get better about it. I need a bigger melter, and I need to just be disciplined that as soon as I get home with wax from a cutout, I probably just need to throw it in there and not try to let the bees rob it and then try to do this, that, and the other. I probably should just chunk it in there. And I know all this stuff, um, but I admit my faults to you guys. Anyway, I just got this pan out of the melter. I have two in there, and this one was just about overflowing, and I hope... There's no water under it. it. There shouldn't be. As hot as it gets in that melter, I imagine it steamed off all the water. So I hope this is a good full block. But what's funny, of course, it, yeah, it's still dirty. This was just melted down through a screen. So this has not been run through a paper towel to get all the fines out. But what I really wanted to show you guys, I guess, was um, how nice and white it is. I have never rendered down wax this lightly colored in a pot of water. Now, there's several reasons for that. Uh, the biggest probably is that I just don't put the effort into filtering. I boil it, I stir it, I you know sieve out the the beetle bits and the and the maggots and stuff like that, and then I let it settle up and I've got this yellow wax that has a lot of pollen in it. Well, I I do listen and I do pay attention even if I make the same mistakes again and again. And I've read a couple places on you know the the real benefits to solar bleaching wax. And if you want to hear more about it, you guys probably everybody that follows my channel knows who Ralph Jones is. But if not, go find Ralph Jones on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, see how he renders down his wax, and he'll tell you all about it. There is a, you know, there's there's a certain art to how much you uh, bleach your wax, or, or you know, letting um, doing solar bleaching. Um, but again, if you get your wax too hot, you can scorch the pollen residue that's in it and give it off colors. But you can actually you can bleach it back um, and get it back to a lighter wax. At least that's my understanding. And that's basically what's happened here, because I know it's getting darn hot in that melter, probably too hot. Um, but it's resulting in a, a very nice white colored wax. And you see this, it's kind of funny, this gap is actually widening as I'm talking because it's cooling off. I'm staying in the house now. This, what I want, really why I want to make the video is because this is freaking hot. The sun's been down for, the sun's been down for probably three hours now as far as the sun shining directly on the melter. But this is this is still so hot that I can't hold my hand. I can put my hand on it, and it's it's uncomfortably hot. I can maybe force myself to do it, but I feel like I'm on the verge of getting burnt. <laughs> you know, the wax is still soft. You can see, I put a fingerprint in it. Um, but hopefully it'll it'll cool off and harden up here overnight, and I'll be able to break this brick out in the morning and show it to you guys. But that's really what why I want to talk about or why I want to make the video is because I was surprised, like even after dark, that <laughs> seriously. This is my life. Almost every night we get a frog in the house because they hang on the outside of the door to eat bugs by the light. Now he's going to jump under the couch. I'm not going to catch him. Whatever. We'll find his crusty little body later. <sighs> anyway, yeah. I was surprised by just how well that melter was holding heat even after dark. It's not flowing anymore. But I went ahead and pulled this pan out because it's about to spill over. And uh, the other pan is about half full. And so I actually raked up a bunch of wax that has spilled over in the past and is all over the bottom of the melter down in the freezer and uh, picked all those big globs up and reloaded those into the into the basket so those should melt down tomorrow and I think those will just about fill another pan which is great because I don't have a lot of clean wax like this and I'm, I'm trying to get back to where I can have a good stash of nice clean and I know this isn't clean it has to be rendered again but have a good clean white wax uh, and then I'll start, you know, setting it up in one pound blocks and one ounce blocks and be able to have an inventory of quality wax that's ready to go for sale instead of just breaking a chunk off like I do right now whenever somebody asks. Anyway, mostly just want to tell you guys, I know I've rambled, but super hot after dark, uncomfortably hot, which makes me happy that my wax melter is working very well. Uh, and I wanted to touch on a little bit about the idea of solar bleaching because this wax actually came off combs that were black. And maybe that's just a misconception for some people that think, oh, well, if the if the combs are black, then the wax must be bad, too. That's not the case. <laughs> the wax will still melt down to white wax. The black is all the cocoons and propolis and stuff like that that's in those combs. 
but it will melt down and leave you a crusty black waste, um, but still give you a nice white wax. Well, I was not expecting that, but I guess it should have been. That is like a black tar liquid that was underneath the block of wax. So it cooled overnight, and I just broke it out. And you can see it's just oozing this liquid. I guess it's just the same black residue, you know, propolis or whatever off the off the wax, but it all settled to the bottom like it should. So I'm gonna rinse off the bulk of it, rinse the porch off so it doesn't stain and my wife gets upset, and then this will be broke up into chunks and we'll go back into the melter, but it'll be melted through paper towels next time to hopefully absorb that all that you know residual nastiness.